Hello and welcome to Crafty Night Shifty. Thank you for joining me today. This is my first video post since I took a break over Christmas, so I'm really excited to share this card with you. I'll be using the Crafty Friends stamp from Hero Arts as well as some of their ombre ink pads. And I'll be stamping down onto some pre-cut white cardstock. So I'm going to be making, making multiple cards today, so I've got a few of these pre-cut. Now some of you might have noticed that my thumb on my right hand is slightly bigger than usual. I uh, got a bit of an injury the other day, so you'll have to excuse that. I think the um, bruising kind of comes out throughout the video, so don't be too alarmed. It's, uh, it is feeling okay. So I've got these ombre ink pads and I'm starting off with one of the blue ink pads and I'm just swiping that down onto a piece of paper so I can see um, which of the felt pads is the darkest and which one's the lightest. So I want the darkest to be at the bottom of this sentiment stamp so I'm just going to press that down quite firmly in the middle there and then I'm going to take the ink pad and just kind of move it backwards and forwards a little bit so it's kind of like a little cha-cha-cha either side to make those colours blend. So to fill in the top of the sentiment, I'm just going to use that light first ink pad and for the bottom of the sentiment, I'm going to use the dark side. So this is to make sure that when I stamp it down, the entire image is covered with this kind of ombre ink rather than just that middle section that the stamp pad covers. You can use this same technique to ink up a background. Um, I haven't actually done it myself, but I've seen up to kind of six by six inch background stamps inked up in this way. So I think it's a really nice way to get a colour blend. So I'm just doing the same thing there. I've pressed the stamp pad down in the middle and kind of moved it side to side to blend it. And then use the dark felt, felt pad only to ink up the bottom and the light felt pad to ink up the top. And just press that down. So I'm working through with each of the colours and you'll see that I'm kind of swiping some of the ink um, off to one side each time. So there's two reasons that I'm doing that. The first reason is to make sure that I don't accidentally stamp the dark side of the ink pad at the top because I want the dark part to be at the bottom. And the second reason is because I'm going to die cut some stars later on out of each of those colours because I want some teeny tiny stars that perfectly match each of the ink colours in the ombre ink pads. So if you don't have ombre ink pads, you could get the same effect just using some normal um, ink pads that you have and just tapping those across certain parts of each of the um, sentiment. So I'm just lining up the teeny tiny um, stars die from Mummer Elephant and the supplies that I'm using will actually be linked in the description section below and also over on my blog. So now I'm just taking the frames die set from Simon Says Stamp and I'm just placing that down and running it through my die cut machine. And I'm doing that on both the white panels and also some coloured cardstock um, from Simon Says Stamp which I've picked to coordinate with some of the colours in the ombre. So you can see that I was laying a piece of paper over the top of the dies there. That was just to make sure that enough pressure is applied using my die cutting machine that these um, really thin intricate dies cut perfectly. So I'm going to discard that first outside edge and then I'm going to keep the scalloped frame and also the small um, really thin frame from the coloured pieces of cardstock and then from the white pieces of cardstock I'm going to keep the white panels from the centre and also the um, kind of curved border edge. So you'll see me bring all of those together and I'm not going to discard the extra pieces from the coloured cardstock, I think I'll just use those on a different project. So now I've got a small dot adhesive runner um, that I'm just running along the back of these frames and this will apply teeny tiny dots of adhesive all over the back where it sticks. You can just about see those on the camera there. And I'm going to do this on a couple of frames at a time. So when I'm making multiple cards I think it's really nice to um, do each part in stages. So do all of your stamping, then move on to all of your die cutting and then apply glue to a whole bunch of cards and stick those down. So I did a few of these off camera and I just saved a couple to do on camera for you here. You'll see that I just lay down a piece of white cardstock onto my desk. That was just because I was using that tiny dot adhesive and that will be kind of all over the surface of my um, grid paper. So I just put a white piece of card um, or printer paper over the top. So I'm just applying some ATG tape now, any adhesive would do. I'm just kind of covering the inside of that frame and I'll then be able to use a inlay um, technique to put all of those different die cuts back into place. So I'm going to place the white just inside here 
Now you don't have to do this, you could leave this out, um, but I like the way it gives almost like a one layer effect on the card when you inlay all of the pieces back in. So I'm just pressing down the um, kind of the more curved frame that you end up with there, making sure that both of my cards are the right way around. I did make that mistake on one of my cards, so I stamped each of the ombre ink colours three times, but you'll see that at the end of the video I don't quite have um, the same amount of cards because I did, um, I did mess up on one or two of them. So I'm placing down that centre panel. I found it was a little bit easier to do this first and then apply the really thin frame. I think that that worked better for me just because that frame is so tiny that if you get it slightly misaligned um, you'll cover it up with that white panel with the stamping. So I think it's nicer to press that back in um, once you've put the, all of the other panels into place. To stick that down I just applied some zig glue pen just to make sure that that sticks down really well even if it's not perfectly aligned with the gaps in the cards. And so there you have it, that's all of the um, putting together of the cards finished. I just decided with those teeny tiny um, stars that I die cut just to place all those kind of scattered around on the card mimicking the ombre theme. So I applied some of the um, stars from the lightest colour up near the top, the medium colour around the middle and the darkest ones at the centre. And that's just using some Ranger Multimedium Matte, um, which I've got in kind of a fine line applicator bottle, which makes it really easy to put teeny tiny dots of adhesive all over the card. And then I'm using my quick stick tool to pick those up. Just to finish this off, I'm adding some Wink of Stella onto the stars so there's a little bit of sparkle on them. And there we have it, I've got a whole bunch of Crafty Friends or the Best of Friends cards that I can send out. So just before we finish, I decided to add a sentiment. I did consider using the You Are Awesome sentiment from Simon Says Stamp, but then I decided on the Sending Big Hugs. I just wanted to show how quick and easy it is to stamp down multiple times um, using the Misty tool. So I've got the magnets holding the paper in place there that I've pushed up against that bottom right hand corner, kind of where the one inch marks are. And now I know that if I put my paper in the same spot each time, I'll get a perfectly stamped image in the exact same place that I want it in because the stamp is stuck to that kind of hinge lid on the Misty. So it's really easy to just work through with your kind of multiple cards. Um, as I say, I, I aim to make 12 of these and I think I ended up with, um, with 10 or 11 that I was happy with. So I've got three in orange, three in kind of the mint green, um, greeny blue, and then the blue and the green. And there they all are. So thank you so much for joining me. Um, I'm really excited to be back to posting regular videos um, throughout 2016. So please do subscribe so you don't miss anything from me. And more information over on my blog. I've got links here to two videos that you may also want to check out. You can just click on those um, on the thumbnails on the image there. Or you can find the links in the description below. I'll see you again soon.